In this tutorial, we're going to turn this image into a print-ready file for direct garment printing. So what we're hoping to achieve here, if we were going to print this, uh, this image of smoke with the text onto a black t-shirt, um, this artboard represents the max printable area for our printer. So if we were to print this on a black t-shirt, um, we don't want to print this whole big black box around everything. So I'm going to turn off the background layer, just kind of show you what we're working with here. So with that background layer turned off, we're left with the text layer. And if you see over here, my layers panel, um, one layer entitled smoke, and that's got this image on there. And as you can tell, it's it's hard to see. It's a PNG file with, with transparencies. And what we're shooting for in the final image is to have this, this puff of smoke sort of fade into the shirt color. And in, in this example, the shirt color is represented by this black background. So in order to prep this so that it we don't need this big black box printed on the top of the garment with just extra ink, and that you know box around it. Um, one thing we could do is um, we could mat the image to the background. So to do that, if I have this smoke layer active and I have my magic wand tool active, I got that by pressing the W key. I'm going to make a selection of the empty space on this layer. So I'm just going to click somewhere over here, and you can see it makes a selection around the um, the empty space. So if I merge the smoke layer down to the black background, which I'm going to do by hitting Command E on a Mac, so that makes that one layer, I can now hit the delete key on my keyboard and that's going to um, delete all that black around there and then I'm going to hit the Command D to deselect, get rid of those marching ants. And you can see that's one way to achieve this where we have, you know, crisp transition on these white letters here. And then we have this smoke image. It's no longer transparent, um, but it doesn't have the, the same effect where it seems to fade into that background color. There's a all the way around a jagged, abrupt line where essentially the, the ink would stop. There'd be no ink laid down on this checkerboard transparent area. So while that did give us, you know, black pixels behind the transparent smoke and it, and it gave this some depth, that's not the ideal way to do this. So we're going to go over to the history panel here and I'm going to go back in the history. Now I've got our, our three layers again. Um, and I'm going to show you a way that we can mat this smoke layer so it's no longer see-through. We can mat it to the black background and still achieve the the print, the ink distribution to where it actually actually does appear to fade into the shirt color. So that's going to be achieved by turning this into little halftone dots that, that dissipate into essentially nothing. So in order to do that, uh, we've got to do a few steps in order to get to bit mapping, which is how we create the halftone dots. We first have to go to grayscale mode. So what we're going to do first, since we don't want to make any manipulation to the text layer, um, we can just we're going to just hide that layer by clicking on the eyeball. If you do have text and your transparent image on the same layer, you know this will still work. You can either isolate that layer out or you can just do the same thing with the layer active. If they're separate, might as well just leave it alone so you're not making any changes to that layer. All right, so now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go from the mode that we're in right now, the color mode that we're in. If you see up here at the title of this tab, we're in the RGB mode. So our first step, we need to go to grayscale. So in order to do that, we're going to uh, go to image mode grayscale um, and then it's going to ask merge layers before yeah we're going to merge and 
even if we're working with a multicolor image, it's okay that we merged the layers and went to grayscale. It's essentially black and white. If it was color, it would have been turned to black and white in this step, but it's okay because we're going to just create a layer and then go back in the history and use the original image layer. So don't have to worry about this technique with color images. All right, so now what we want to do is adjust the levels. I'm going to bring up the levels panel by hitting Command L on a Mac. Let's move this over where you can see. We want to make sure that as much as possible we can get our image to be white. And by that I'm going to move the white slider over to the left. I'm actually going to move it quite a bit. In this process anything that's white is going to get we're going to retain the full image that we have. Anything that's gray or black is going to lose some of the pixel information because we're going to be removing surface area, basically. Um, and just a quick note, this process can be done with any color garment underneath. You can, um, if we wanted to put this onto a navy blue shirt, we would do the same steps that we're doing doing this step with a with a true black background. Um, later on, we can we can mat it to a different color. But for this step, uh, we need to have a black background. So I've brought the levels down, and I'm actually going to go quite a ways. Um, and you know, you can kind of play with it to find where works best. You don't want to lose. You don't want to take out too much, um, but you want kind of a contrast between these whites and where it goes to gray. You can also kind of fiddle with the midtones. We'd lose a lot of data with that. So I'm going to about there looks good. Um, and you can always come back and redo this step if you're not happy with the way it turns out. So I'm going to click OK. Now we're going to take this from grayscale mode. As you can see up here, we're going to go to bitmap mode, and that's where it's going to um, really give us all those half tones. So I'm going to go again to the image menu, mode, and select bitmap, uh, flatten layers, OK. Now here's a couple of, uh, there's two menus here, one and then the next one, we're going to have to change some settings. Um, you want to make sure the input and the output are the same resolution. This tends to work better with higher resolution images, so if you're working with 72 dpi, you're probably going to want to upsize that first. But anyhow, whatever your, your input, you want the output to match. So I've got that, 150 and 150. The method, there's a bunch of choices. We want halftone screen. I'm going to click OK. Um, and we want to make sure the frequency is 45 lines per inch, angle 22.5 degrees, shape ellipse. You're going to want to put these settings in, and these will stay in there. Next time you use it, they'll be in there, but the first time you make these changes, you have to enter them in. So I'm going to hit OK, and you're going to see it uh, half tone the image right when we do this. Boom. So there we go. We've got, uh, and you can see all those whites are there. I'm going to um, pull up the rulers by hitting Command R, and then I'm going to zoom in to this area right in here so you can see. Um, in the bitmap, it's either all black or all white. So right here we've got all white, and then we're fading to black, and you can see if I hit the space bar so that we can move around, these pixels um, are kind of fading into to the black there. So I'm going to go back out to full screen. Now we're going to take this layer and we're going to go back in history with it. So first we need to copy the layer. So I'm going to hit Command A on my keyboard to make a selection of the whole layer and then Command C to copy it to my clipboard. And if we look down over here in the history panel, we want to go to the, the step before we went to grayscale. So it's important that we don't do too many steps in between. You want to keep this in your history. So I'm going to go back to the step before grayscale and I'm going to paste that layer on by hitting Command V. So now if you look at my layers panel, I've got that at the top layer and all my original three layers that I had before. So I'm going to use the magic wand tool and I'm going to click some of this empty space and make a selection of black. We're choosing the black 
and we're making a selection. Now I'm going to hide that image, that layer, and I'm going to make the smoke layer active. Uh, I'm going to hit delete on my keyboard. And what that did, you, I don't know if you saw, we lost some of the information. If I take a step back, um, some of this grays in here are going to disappear. We're going to lose some in here, but not as much. So that's where you can kind of, you know, if you're unhappy with the next step, you can come back, you can go back and redo it where we adjusted the levels. But I'm going to hit delete again, and then I'm going to hit command D to deselect. So, you know, I feel we did lose a certain amount of the image, but there's still enough to see there, and it has a nice sort of fading, especially down in here. It fades nicely into the shirt color. So I'm going to take the, uh, the bitmap layer that we use. I'm going to just throw that away and make that text visible again. Now, at this point, again, if I get rid of that black background, you can see the the smoke layer is still transparent. You can still see through a lot of those pixels. So in order to print that on a black shirt, we need to have the black pixels behind. So we're going to mat that down. But I wanted to just show you really quick. If I create a new layer um, and fill it with, I don't know, let's say uh, like a dark blue. I'm going to make that a little more navy. If I wanted to have this image on a navy blue garment, um, I can do that. It's still going to have the the effect of the smoke with that color behind it, like it's see-through fading into the, the blue shirt. So that's kind of nice, but let's go ahead and get rid of that layer. Now we're going to do the same thing of matting the image down. So I'm going to make the smoke layer active. I'm going to make a selection in the empty space. I'm going to merge down by hitting Command E. So that made those two layers one layer. I'm going to delete the black. I'm going to hit Command D so it gets rid of the selection. Um, and then I'm going to take this text layer and merge it down so we're just dealing with one layer that we can save as a PNG file. So this will print very nicely. A lot of direct garment printers, um, you know, printing companies, they don't like it when you try to have a a gradient sort of fade in because it needs to that matting process but this there's no gradient it's actually it's either solid pixels or it's empty space or this you know step down half toning in between so if I go out to full screen this um, this is all ready to go you can save that as a PNG and export it out and uh, upload it to your printer and that way you're able to effectively use transparent images and have them fade into the t-shirt color. I hope you found this video helpful and uh, enjoy.